was like, why are you so obsessed with me? I don't know why, Mariah, but everyone in Atlanta cannot wait much longer. We are so excited to have you perform at the Fox Theater March 5th. We cannot wait any longer. And if you want to be part of it, you should go buy your tickets now because the days are rolling in and everyone is getting excited. Her performance from Touch My Body to Obsessed to We Belong Together and much, much more. We cannot wait. And guys, let's make my wish come true for Christmas. Dr. Seuss was a man who inspired plenty of children with his colorful pictures and illustrious rhymes. He taught children to read in funny, wonderful ways. That's why in 1998, on March 2nd, the first Read Across America Day was held. Read Across America Day is a day where most schools acknowledge Dr. Seuss and his contributions to America. Activities and workstations are held which help us understand his history and books, and of course we read other books as well. Finally, as an avid reader, I believe Dr. Seuss really helped me love books. As a kid, I easily fell in love with his comedic rhyming and his unorthodox illustrations. Without Dr. Seuss, I probably wouldn't like reading as much as I do now, and I wouldn't be as proficient as a reader. So join me on March 2nd as we all recognize the great Dr. Seuss by doing what he always wanted us to do, read. This February, Atlanta gets turned into a wonderland of candy and color with Candytopia. Candytopia has gone through several cities and it's been a huge hit and is fun for the whole family. The whole thing is designed by Jackie Sorkin and Zach Hartog. It will last for three months. It celebrates the colors and flavors of the delicious sugary confections. You'll be able to eat as much candy as your heart desires, so make sure you have some room in your stomach when you come to Candytopia. Remember, Candytopia won't be in Atlanta forever. It only lasts from February 8th through June 2nd, so make sure you get on down to Candytopia Atlanta soon. Being the new year, 2019 has a lot of new films coming out that have a lot of excitement built up around them. Of course there are many different genres, so let's start with action movies. We have Glass, a superhero movie starring Samuel L. Jackson, Captain Marvel starring Brie Larson, a female Marvel superhero movie, Star Wars Episode 9 starring Daisy Ridley, Adam Driver, and Mark Hamill, and Avengers 4 starring Chris Evans, Robert Downey Jr., and more. Thrillers coming out in 2019 are Escape Room, based on the real life, very popular escape rooms with a horror spin off in January. James Bond 25, everyone's favorite spy movie, starring Daniel Craig, and It Chapter 2, having adults act as the kids from the previous movies, with Bill Skarsgård still as Pennywise. Another great movie coming out this year is The Kid Who Would Be King, which is a drama movie. It is based on the Wizard of Merlin that assists Alex in his quest. This movie takes place in the underworld and the real world. Comedy is a great movie genre, which most people enjoy. 2019 shouldn't change your opinion, with some pretty good movies coming out. The Upside, starring Kevin Hart and Bryan Cranston, a friendship comedy, and Zombieland 2, a zombie apocalypse parody starring Woody Harrelson, Jesse Eisenberg, and Emma Stone. We have very good expectations for these 2019 movies. They sound pretty good to me. If you want to see them, research their exact release date and go see it in a theater near you. Oh my god, yes, she is so disgusting. <laughs> oh my god, are you okay? You can talk if you need, I'll be there if you need me to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> 